السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you guys are you fine I'm Jane Ahmed Abdul Sadiq and today's model is Polygy which is uh, in year of uh, June 2021 now let's start with the first question in this model is asking what what is the branch of science in particular natural science that studies living things here what we have four shorts is right we have uh, natural science science biology and physics now the question is asking what what is the branch of science so that means it's already talking about science so uh, choice C it will be cancelled now we have three choices here in particular natural science so that means it's under the branch of natural science so A and C will be cancelled that studies about living things living things it is biology or physics physics actually it's like uh, the matter like to understand the observations or the matter of energy that's around us but polygy is studying about living things non-living things and others right so that means the correct answer for question number one it will be choice B now question number two the knowledge obtained from biology that can be utilized in agriculture includes what preventing and examining and treating human or animal disease or applying chemical pesticides to crops to keep them healthy and increase productivity or prevention of disease related to lack of nutrients in humans or inventing drugs which are important to keep human and animals healthy actually uh, this part is for the chemistry right for the chemistry branch which is invent which is inventing drugs which are important to keep human and animals healthy which is um, biochemistry okay and about uh, choice C it's saying what prevention of disease related to lack of nutrients in humans no because here it says about agriculture agriculture sh so it will be for what applying chemicals pesticides to crops to keep them healthy and increase productivity so that means the correct answer for question number two it will be choice B now in question number three out of uh, out of the five food groups okay which one of the following is needed in a very small amount per day we have here fruits and vegetables milk and cheese meat and legumes or fats and sweets of course fats and sweets it will be like the small amount that we are gonna to eat or to use per day right so the correct answer for question number three which uh, we needed in a very small amount it will be fats and sweets okay now let's go for question number four which one of the following is correct about uh, like the order of studying living things and cells here what we have four choices first of all we have studying living things then studying cells then the invention of the microscope or uh, studying cells then studying living things then the invention of the microscope or the invention of the microscope then studying cells then studying living things or the last choice which is studying living things then the invention of microscope then studying cells of course the first thing it will be studying about living things right after studying of the living things you will invention of the microscope you will invent uh, like the, the microscope but then you will study about the cells that you bring it from the living things right so the correct answer for question number uh, four it would be choice d now question number five the diagram pillow shows a compound microscope based on the diagram one of the following is the correct arrangement of the names of the parts repelled from one to five okay here like respectively from one to five in order we have eyepiece body tube objective adjustment and light source here number one in number one here what we have the eyepiece right so the first one here it will be the eyepiece okay and in number two what we have here the body tube right 
the body tube and for the number three what we have here it will be the objective adjustment right and in number four I mean uh, it will be uh, the objective the objective lenses and in number four here it will be the adjustment and in number five it will be the light source or iris so that means the correct answer for question number A, it will be choice, I mean for question number 5, it will be choice A. Now let's go for the next page. What we have here, one of the following organisms is different from the others based on the number of cells it possesses. What we have here, yes, amoeba, rose, euglena. First of all, yes, amoeba and euglena are in one group, which is uh, have a unicellular, a unicellular, right? They are unicellular. Yes, amoeba, euglena, they are unicellular, but rose are multicellular. So that means the one which is different from the others, it will be choice B. Now, question number seven, Yunus and uh, Aphomia prepare their chic cells on separate slides and start looking at them through the compound microscope with similar magnification. However, Jonas cannot see anything. What would his error possible be? He may use lower magnification or he may fail to add the staining iodine solution or he may fail to add the staining methyl blue or he may use higher magnification. The correct answer it will be it will be he may uh, fail to add the staining methyl blue this is the correct answer that uh, what would his error possible be that this thing he may fail to add the staining methyl blue okay now in question number eight one of the following is true about the skull skull is what found opposite into to the body axis no uh, consists of two pairs of the sternum, no, composed of several bones, no, part of the axial skeleton, yes, it's not opposite to the body axis. So that means part of the axial skeleton is the skull. Now question number nine, ribs as an important part of the human skeletal system protect the internal and external organs of human body from physical damage or have covered structure with 12 pairs of bones or protects part of the limbs or protects the body appendages. The correct answer it will be have a covered structure with 12 pairs of bones. This is the correct thing about ribs. Okay, now let's go for the next page, question number 10. Which one of the following is the correct combination of arm and their respective bones? Here what we have, humerus, which is upper arms, radius, which is f uh, fingers, and uh, ulna, which is inner lower arms, and metacarpals, which is wrists. So the correct one it will be humerus, which is upper arms. Because he said what? correct combination of arm and the respective bones so here's the arm what we have you uh, humerus i mean um, the respective bones which is humerus and the upper arms is a correct arm or like the combination of this arm and this respective bone is what humerus and upper arms now question number 11 humans have four types of teeth with various purposes of I mean, one of the following pairs share at least one similar function. Okay, he said what? Humans have four types of teeth with various purposes, right? Yes. One of the following pairs share at least one similar function. Which one? Incisors and canyon, or incisors and premolar, or incisors and molar, or molar and premolar. Yes, of course, here what we have molar, and here also it will be molar, but we put premolar, which is different only by something, another. So that means both of them are similar function in one, right? Molar and premolar. 
Now question number 12. Which one of the following is correct? Match of types of uh, plants and their mood of reproduction. Here it will be non flowering, vs flowers, or genisperms, vs flowers, or non flowering, vs cones, or flowering, vs uh, cones, versus cones. The correct answer it will be non flowering versus cones. Why? Because it said is a correct match of types of plant and their mode of reproduction. So the correct answer it will be non flowering versus cones. Now question number thirteen plants that grow in low or high land are classified based on the what? Climate they grow or attitude they grow or water they grow or soil they grow the correct answer it will be attitude they grow because he said plants that grow in low or high land are classified based on their attitude okay now question number 14 plants that reproduce by using flowers are called what genosperm non flowering plants angiosperms or seedless the correct answer it will be angiosperms why because they are flowering plants but genosperms are non flowering plants okay now in question number 15 which one of the following is the vegetative structure of a flowering plant the vegetative uh, structure it will be of course a steam okay now question number 16 plants have two types of fruit systems tap and fibrous root systems in the tap root system what the lateral root is the thickest of the root system or the main root gives um, rises to the lateral roots or the lateral root gives rises to the main system or there are numerous roots of the same radius the correct answer it would be the main root gives rises to the lateral roots this is what will happen in the top root system that the main root gives rises to the lateral roots which is up okay now question number 17 as human beings we have skin as an external cover and plants also have a structure of similar function which is epidermis stem leaves or cork the correct answer will be epidermis as we have like the humans have external cover skin which is external cover also plants have the same structure for the similar function which is epidermis okay now question number 18 unlike the leaves and stems the root epidermis is not covered by cuticle this is because of what the root is not exposed to direct sunlight and leads uh, less protection as compared to to the plumber yes this is the correct answer the root is not exposed to direct sunlight and needs uh, less protection as compared to the plumpure which is not covered by this one said unlike the leaves and stems the root epidermis is not covered by cuticle he said is not so the correct answer for question number 18 it will be the root is not exposed to direct sunlight and needs less protection as compared to plumion okay now question number 19 in the two animal groups the most abundant group is what? Vertebrates, mammals, animals with backbone, or invertebrates? The correct answer it will be invertebrates. Why? Because they are said uh, in the two animal groups, which is vertebrates and invertebrates. The most abundant group, the most abundant group is invertebrates, and also it's written in uh, textbook of grade seven. Okay, now question number twenty. One of the following insects development stages in unique in unique to incomplete metamorphosis. Which one? Nymph. Nymph, right? This is the correct answer. Because it says insect development stages in unique to incomplete metamorphosis. It will be nymph, but egg pop and adult is the same. Okay, now let's go for question number twenty-one. Insects of various types can be harmful to humans. For example, the test fly is a harmful insect because of what? It is a vector. Types uh, can be harmful to humans. 
I mean, it's a vector of malaria disease and could cause the death of humans and animals? No. It is a vector of the tribe's disease and could cause the death of humans and animals? Yes, this one is the correct answer because it says here tribes, but here it says malaria. No, it's not for the malaria. Here it's for the tribes, yes. It is a vector of the tribe's disease and could cause the death of humans and animals. But, okay, now question number 22. Which one of the following is a harmful insect on crops? Here we have house fly, mosquito, test fly, or army worm. The correct answer it will be army worm. Why? Because he said it's harmful insect on crops. On crops, it will be the army worm. Now, question number 23, which one of the following social insects is useful to humans? Is useful to humans. Of course, it will be bees. Why? Because bees uh, are producing honey, right? And we are taking this honey like a medicine for the people who are sick because honey have so many benefits and also even the peas itself they have their benefits for us now question number 24 the queen pea lays up to 2000 eggs per day and uh, the unfertilized and fertilized eggs become what drones and workers or queen and drones or workers and drones or queen and workers the correct answer to be drones and workers. It's written also in uh, textbook of grade seven. Now question number 25, bees are very important in crop production because they what? Give honey or are pollinators, give wax, kill other insects. The correct answer it will be are pollinators. Now question number 26, a habitat that is occupied by animals such as fish, frogs, or wolves is called what? Of course they will be the aquatic habitat because they are living in water. Okay, now let's go for question number 27. A proper mounting of plant pigments is important because properly mounted pigments are less uh, succinct people to damage and can be used for a longer period or are wet and can be reshaped as needed or can simply detach from the card or are always lapelled. The correct answer it will be are less susceptible. Here uh, susceptible are its meaning is exposed. So that means are less exposed to the mage and can be used for a longer period. This is the correct answer for question number 27. Now question number 28. In a simple food chain, the chain starts with an organism is called what? The, that consumer other small organisms? In a simple food chain, the chain starts with an organism that consume other small organisms or that consume other small plants or that produce own food or that consume other bigger organisms. The correct answer would be that produce own food, which is plants. Now question number 29. The energy transfer at each trophic level of a food chain is different and the highest energy is obtained at what? At the lowest level which have plants. Now question number 30, the diagram below shows a simple food chain. Okay, here number one, two, three, four, and five. Based on the above diagram, the correct order of biomass and number from the lower to the higher is what? From the lower to the higher. So first of all, it will be the plants, then this insect, then the frog, No, uh, he said what? From lower to higher. So that means from the high level to the lower level. And lower level, as we said, it was plants, right? From the high level, which is eagle, then snake, 
than frog, than insect, than plants or grass. So the correct answer for question number uh, 38 will be choice A. Okay, now let's go for question number 31. Environmental friendly way of life is represented by reduced what? Food consumption, planting trees, and for chemical utilization, animals, husbandry. He said what? Environmental friendly. friendly. Okay, way of life is represented by reducing, that means make it less, which is harmful chemical utilization. If we make, if we reduce harmful chemical utilization, there will be a friendly environmental. Okay, now question number 32. Centrifuge, one of the technological products used in studying pollution, right? It is mainly used what? To mix two or more substance of different molecular weights or mix two or more substance of the same molecular weight or separate two or more substance of the same molecular weights or the same thing what's different than the same molecular weights. So the correct answer it will be to separate two or more substance of different molecular weights. Like uh, cytoplasm and blood. Okay, now question number three. Which one of the following habitat is suitable and common for single cell organisms? So it will be aquatic, desert, terrestrial, or tropics. The correct answer it will be aquatic. Because he said what? Which one of the following habitat is suitable and common for single cell organisms? Single cell organisms, which is like fish, walls, that means aquatic habitat. Okay, now question number 34. One of the following not true about amoeba. Amoeba is an animal like Unicer or Jensen. This one is correct. The parasitic amoeba often lives in a fresh water bodies. No. This one is not true about amoeba. Okay, now let's go for question number 35. The cast phase of the amoeba life cycle is characterized by what? It is an active phase of the life cycle. It is a moving phase of the life cycle. Or it is a feeding phase of the life cycle. Or it is an inactive phase of the life cycle. The correct answer about amoeba life cycle is that it's inactive, right? It is an active phase of life cycle. Okay, now question number six. One of the following is true about paramecium reproduction. About paramecium reproduction, it will be has both a sexual and sexual reproduction. Now question number seven. One of the following is among human cells and it are a reproductive cell. Which one? We have here nerve cell, skin cell, sperm cell, and blood cell. First of all, he said one of the following is among human cells and it are a reproductive cell. When it is a reproductive cell, so that means it is the sperm cell. Now, question number 38. Blood flowing in the human body is an example of what? Connective tissues, nerve tissues or epithelial tissues or skin tissues the correct answer to be connective tissues why because he said blood flowing in the human body is an example of what of course to give and to take which is give to take connective tissues but epithelial tissues is for protection and about nerve tissues is about transportation, right? So that means the correct answer for question number 38 it will be give to take, which is connective tissues. Now question number 39, one of the following pairs of tissues is used for the protection of external surface, both plants and animals. It will be epidermal and pons, I mean, and pond tissues or epidermal and epithelial tissues or epidermal and blood tissues or epidermal and muscle tissues. The correct answer it will be epidermal and epithelial tissues. Why? Because he said both plants and animals. 
is the protection is the protection of external surface pod plants and animals and as we say epidermal is uh, like has a function of protection and epithelial also has a function for protection for um, for animals Now let's go for question number 40. The secondary sexual characteristics of human include what? The presence of male reproductive organ, sex hormone production, presence of female reproductive organ, or presence of reproductive structures. The correct answer for question number 40 it will be sex hormone production. Why? Because he said is a characteristic of, I mean, the secondary sexual. Secondary sexual that means is the second stage or step which is second hormone, sex hormone production. But presence of male reproductive organ, no. Presence of female reproductive organ, the same thing, no. Presence of reproductive structure, no. But sex hormone production, is yes, this is the correct answer for question number 40. Now question number 41. The diagram shows the male reproductive structure. The part labeled A in the diagram is used to store sperm for maturation for uh, maturation and it is what vas difference scrotium testes or epididymis the correct answer it will be epididymis now question number 42 in the main reproductive structure the rule of the copper's gland is what to ventilate the testes to attain the desired temperature or to discharge the semen during sexual uh, ejaculation or to secrete mucus to replicate the penis and urethra or to mix the sperm and fluid to form semen. The correct answer it will be to secrete mucus to replicate the penis and urethra. This is the rule of Cooper's gland. Okay, now let's go for question number four, three. One of the following is correct about sperm and semen. Sperm is a mix of semen and fluid. No. Sperm is semen without fluid. No. Semen is a mix of sperm and fluid. Yes, this is the correct answer for question number uh, four, three. Now question number four, four. One of the following is the less HIV AIDS affected region in the world. What it is, Caribbean and Latin America? No. The Middle East and North Africa? No. North America? Yes, they are the least HIV AIDS affected region. Sub Saharan Africa is the worst one. It's the one who is highest. But North America is the least. Why? Because, you know, they are more educated and they know about like the disease of HIV AIDS and they are taking care about this thing so that means at the end they are uh, more educated okay now question number 45 if you are a physician helping HIV AIDS patients what should be your advice for the family members to avoid transmission from the patient to others at home to completely avoid Handshaking with the patient? No, it's not the way how avoiding HIV AIDS because HIV AIDS are not transmitted throughout handshaking. To completely avoid eating with the patient, this is the same thing. HIV AIDS can't transmit throughout eating together. Okay, to completely avoid sleeping in the same room with the patient? No, the same thing. To completely avoid sharing sharp materials, yes. Sharing sharp materials, that means you are sharing your personal things with others and this thing can transmit HIV AIDS, like for example, uh, nail cutter and another thing, personal things, which is sharp things. Okay, now question number four, six, HIV AIDS affects the productivity of nations by what? Reducing birth rate causing gender disparity, reducing a person's ability to work, or increasing orphanage. Actually, increasing orphanage is uh, reducing birth rate. The same thing, causing gender disparity. But he said HIV AIDS affects the productivity. The productivity, that means about a work, is asking about a work of nations. So it will be by reducing a person's ability to work. 
Now question number seven. The light absorbed by the uh, by the chlorophyll pigments and leaves are used to what? Split water molecules, combine water and carbon dioxide, produce water or to produce carbon dioxide. The correct answer to be split water molecules because he said uh, the light absorbed by the chlorophyll pigments and leaves are used to split water molecules and also it's written in textbook of grade 8. Now let's go for question number 48. Glucose produced throughout photosynthesis is temporarily stored in the form of what? C6H12 O6 no glucose no oxygen no or starch yes starch is the correct answer for question number 48 because it says glucose produced throughout photosynthesis is temporarily stored in the form of starch now question number 49 unlike other plants trees and are plants living for several years they are what annual shade fence or perennial the correct answer will be perennial now question number 53 planting has a several benefits one of them is what control region crow coil tree cutting or chunk the correct answer will be control erosion okay now uh, in question number 51, one of the following is critically important for germination in growing tree seedling. It will be greenhouse a greenhouse or fertilizer or water or a wider sea. The correct answer it will be water. Why? Because he said a critically important for germination in growing tree seedling. Of course, it will be water. Now, question number 52, the spread of disease from one sick animal to others before getting treatment can be minimized by what? Vaccination medication killing the infected or isolating the infected animal from the rest yes this one it will be the correct answer to avoid what to avoid the spread of disease from one sick animal to the others it will be by isolating the infected animal from the rest to not infect the others okay now in uh, question number 53 one of the following animals has the longest pregnancy period which one of the animals that has the longest pregnancy period it will be the horse also it's written in uh, textbook of grade 8 now let's go for question number 54 the best quality hay is made from what matured grass leguminous young grass or wheat the correct answer it will be young grass why because they said hay Okay, now question number 55. One of the following herbivorous animals is a ruminant. What we have here? Horse, sheep, donkey, camel. Of course, the one which is ruminant, it will be sheep. Horse, no. Donkey, the same thing, no. Camel, no also. Because it says herbivorous animals, that is ruminant. All of them are herbivorous, but the one which is ruminant, it's sheep. Now, question number 56. In a given ecosystem, biotic factors are what? All the living things both are uh, or both the living and non-living things or all the non-living things or the plants only the one which is correct it will be all the living things why because it says poetic the um, given system poetic factors poetic factors that means it's talking about the living things all living things okay but uh, a poetic factors it will be the non-living things now question number 57 Scavengers and predators are somehow linked because what? Because scavengers are dependent on the leftovers of the primary predators. Now question number 58. During soil formation, the type of soil to be produced is determined by what? Climate, parent material, biotic factors or time. The correct answer it will be current material because he, saw, because he said what during soil formation the type of soil to be produced to be produced is determined by parent material now question number 59 clay soil is the ideal soil for cultivation particularly in the dry season due to what due to its high water holding capacity this is the correct one for question number 59. 
Now question number in uh, question number sixty, one of the man made factors that cause and aggravate erosion, it is by what? Rain, wind, deforestation or water. First of all, rain and wind are physical uh, physical factors, so they are not, but is asking about man made factors. Of course it would be deforestation because deforestation means cutting trees, clearing of trees and it's a man made factors that they are cutting trees for uh, using it for many purposes but this will cause what a creative origin so the correct answer for question number 60 it will be deforestation so this was the last answer for the last question in this model i hope that you benefit from the answers that we answered together today and inshallah in the coming videos we are gonna to make uh, more models and we will solve it together Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Goodbye.